Hello. Well, as you guys know, I like history, and I like, in particular, the approach of object history. So a lot of that comes down to liking old things and just seeing them. So here are some really old ones. This palm flower here, that's what it's called, a palm flower, looks more like a tree to me, uh, is about 50 million years old. So it's pretty neat to see in person. And this was part of a collection I saw recently that included that meteorite knife that I did a separate video on. So I'm not the biggest kind of, you know, fossil prehistory guy, but I do find it interesting. Uh, and the detail on this fish was really cool. It's very large, too. I, I've seen stuff like this in different stores and museums, uh, but this one was quite hefty. However, here's something I've never seen before. It's not amazing. So you can see with this fossilized crab how they had to discover it was there and then very carefully dig it out. I can only imagine the skill and patience it took to do that, to basically excavate this. Uh, but it was well worth it, and uh, never seen never seen anything like it, and uh, that little guy had no idea he was going to be immortalized. Now, here, pretty neat, this is a dinosaur footprint, as you might, you know, be able to tell. It's from the early Jurassic, and I would say it's basically about as large as maybe if you doubled your hand outstretched, just to give you an idea. So probably like a Velociraptor type size creature. Now here's one I do know because this, and I've never gotten to see this either, this is a dinosaur tooth, never seen one of those before, and it's from a Spinosaurus. So if you know even a little bit about dinosaurs, you know that that was one of the biggest meat eaters of all time, basically one of the biggest, baddest dinosaurs ever. It lived about a hundred million years ago and could be up to, estimates say, uh, 60 feet long. So speaking of big creatures, from a long time ago. Here's a woolly, woolly mammoth tusk. I got to see two of them, but the cool thing about it in particular is that they're fossilized and uh, have a really neat pattern to them because they've absorbed the minerals that they sat with for so long. So just to give you a view from the side or from a distance, and now here you go. It's really neat. So it's the same kind of look of petrified wood. And you've probably never taken an interest in petrified wood, but it's actually pretty amazing, like really, really gorgeous. And this, again, took on that effect. So never saw anything like that before. And, of course, when I'm at these things, I'm not satisfied to just kind of stand there. I'll make a fool of myself and duck down and get every kind of angle I can. So I thought this was pretty neat. This is looking straight into a uh, woolly mammoth tusk. And here's the whole thing for this one. So this is the second of the tusks, and it's much bigger. This one's really neat. And it has just a great color and pattern on it. it basically, up close, it looks like, a, like something out of a glass work, like some kind of custom, you know sculpture made of glass. That's what it actually looks like, and I never knew that could happen to uh, fossils, given enough time. And here are just two quick examples of uh, petrified wood. This one, the picture doesn't do it justice. It's a really, like, almost emerald green color. It's a conifer from the Triassic period. And that one you have to see in person to, you know, understand how amazing these things can turn out. But here's one that works better on the picture. Here's a tree stump, also from the Triassic. And you can see that panoply of colors, that palette. It's pretty cool. So... Uh, I've seen stuff like this before, never one this big, and uh, even the colors are hard to describe. It has a very glassy kind of finish. I don't know if they polish these things to help enhance the look. They probably do. Uh, but if you have a, a few thousand or ten thousand dollars to drop, you could get a very cool uh, piece of home decor from uh, millions and millions of years ago. And that is it for this little side jaunt into uh, paleontology and geology. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.